Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial where I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own cryptocurrency. This will be a very basic tutorial and it won't be going too much in depth but it'll be able to show you that um, you can program your own cryptocurrency pretty easily, you can send yourself some ethereum, find that your uh, token actually exists, and we'll also be using the MetaMask Chrome extension. That way we can uh, use that with our remix thing and you'll see why later. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the MetaMask uh, Chrome extension link I have left in the description down below. So you want to go there and then you want to go to get Chrome extension and you want to just simply add it to Chrome and it uh, depends on how fast your computer is it will add it to Chrome and blah blah blah. Okay so now click on MetaMask right here and we're going to hit accept here and then you just want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit accept and you just want to make a new password here so I'm just going to make a new password and I'm just going to call it like so then you're going to have this seed right here I'm going to have this blurred out though because uh, this is supposed to be confidential and if you lose your MetaMask account and you want to get back into it then you can use the seed and get back in so then just say you've copied it, blah, blah, blah. And now you can see we have an account right here. So you're going to want to make sure that this is on the Rinkeby test network because this is what we will be using for our cryptocurrency to send and receive our coin. So with that set up, we are going to give ourselves some Ethereum, as you can see right here, because we will need that to set up our coin in a little bit. Alright, so now we're going to go to the faucet that we need to get ourselves some Ethereum for our MetaMask right here. As you can see, we have zero Ethereum and we need some. So, go to the faucet that I linked down in the description down below. And this one's a little bit weird because you basically need to post on social media. Um, like on Twitter, you know, Facebook, blah blah blah. Um, and then you need to put the address into here. It's kind of weird. But we're going to be using uh, Twitter because I find it pretty easy to use. And and sign in okay and we're gonna go to my account and I believe I already did this because I already tested it but if you click on your MetaMask right here you should be able to click on here and then do copy address to clipboard and then go to tweet and then just control V to paste that in and then paste that and if I just refresh this account right here then as you can see this is my uh, MetaMask address right here. So if we just click on this, uh, you can see, eh, generally from Estonian, interesting. Um, you can see that this changes over here. You need to make sure you click on this so that this link changes to the status. So then we're just gonna copy that and go back to our faucet and then just paste that into here. And then you wanna make sure it says give me other in this one right here. All right, so now that we have three Ethereum in our account, we can start programming our cryptocurrency. So if we go to the link I left down in the description below for the GitHub and you'll see that we get to the consensus thing, um, you want to find tokens. If you're not able to find it, it's right here by the way, you can do control F on your keyboard and type in tokens and you'll be able to find it. So just hit that and then it will take you to here and you want to click on contracts, EIP20, and then you want to click on the EIP20 sole. There are three, we'll be using the interface, but not the factory. So click on this and it'll give you a bunch of code. What you wanna do is just copy all of this. You don't need to reinvent the wheel here. So just copy this and then go into, not it could be uh, remix right here. And we're just gonna click on this little plus right here to create something new. Now we're gonna title our cryptocurrency and let's title this uh, awesome awesome token how about that and now we don't need this ballot thing right here so I'm just gonna delete that all right so now what we're gonna do in here is just control a to select everything and then control V to copy and paste everything that we got from over here okay so now we're gonna change a few values and go over very basically what is inside so if I can make this a little bit bigger here we go um, what we're going to want to do is change where it says contract EIP20. We want to change from EIP20 to awesome token. Dang, awesome token. You want to make sure it's spelled exactly the same it is right here. Alright, so now we're going to go over a few of the other things. 
the address to unit thing right here this is basically keeping track of how much coins everyone has uh, the address mapping thing right here is basically who can send coins to people like I can I can choose to not allow the certain address to send coins to the certain address all right so now let's go over um, some of these functions right here so this function right here that says function EIP20 you don't want that you want it to say function awesome token all right you're almost done making your shit coin here now the initial amount is basically how many coins will be in existence so for example I believe Bitcoin has 21 million coins in existence you can choose to have a billion you can choose to have five all right does not really matter you don't want to type in anything here though because we'll be changing some values in the right hand corner over here much later now the token name is of course what your token is called we called this the awesome token for our cryptocurrency here the decimal units is how many uh, decimals our token will have we're just gonna have that be zero and our token symbol is basically the um, kind of like tick in regular stock so for example Bitcoin is BTC and Tron is TRX for example all right now you can see this is in a function and a function is basically um, a set of commands that will happen whenever you call that function so I could for example have something that says you know whenever I call this function I want it to you know give this dude five more tokens and you know sing happy birthday to me and so every time I say you know sing function sing happy birthday it'll you know give this dude five coins and it'll sing happy birthday that's basically what a function is I'm not really gonna go too much in depth about what all these programming things is uh, maybe one day I'll make a series on programming in a few different languages, but for now we're not going to do that. But we need to do an, one more programming thing here right now. We need to go and see at the top where it says import eip20 interface.sol. We do not have that right now, but what we do have is over here, if we go back, let's say we do have the eip20 interface.sol. So all you need to do is just copy all of this. So let's just control C to copy that, go back to remix, hit plus, and then you just want to call this EIP20 interface. I think I spelled that right wrong. Interface, all right. Yeah. And then you just want to control V to paste all of that. All right, now we're almost done here. What you need to do now is go to the run in the top right here, and you want to make sure that the environment is set to injected web 3 and not javascript vm this is the default you want injected web 3 so that as you can see right now it is our rinkaby test network all right now what you want to do is make sure that this is awesome token and not eip20 interface because you want this piece of code and not this piece of code because we will be dealing with the function awesome token and filling out these that i told you about earlier so what we're going to do right now is start typing in this as you can see, there are commas separating all of that, and that's what we're going to need to do here. So our initial amount basically is how many tokens we want to have. I'm going to say we want 20,000. How about that? Um, we want 20,000 tokens. And one major thing to uh, not do is you don't want to have a comma right here, as you can see, where it says 20,000, how you would normally write it, because that will mess it up thinking that you are typing 00, for example, the token name. So you want to just type in 20,000, just 20000 if you want 20,000. You know, it could be 100 million if you want. And then I'm just going to do a comma, and then we're going to do our token name. So you want to have this in quotation marks, and we're just going to call this awesome token. And then you just want to have another comma. And then next we have our decimal units. I'm just going to have zero, comma, and then we have our token symbol. Um, which is basically, as I uh, told you about before, you know, Bitcoin as BTC. So we can call this, uh, let's just do the awesome token. So you want to do this in quotation marks as well. So let's just do the awesome token. And now we are done. You don't want to put a period at the end or anything. You just want to leave it like that. And then you just want to hit create. And then our MetaMask will open up here and you just want to hit submit. And now it will say one pending transactions. Take a little bit. 2,000 years later. All right, finally finished. So what we can do now to kind of show you that this coin actually exists, what we can do is we can actually just hit copy value to clipboard right here, and then go to our ether scan all the way over here. And all we can do is just paste that in and hit search. And then it'll look on the Ethereum blockchain. 
and you will see that, yep, we have 20,000 for our total supply. Our name is Awesome Token, our symbol is tag, we have zero decimals. And that is all created. We've basically created a simple cryptocurrency that is very basic and I'm not going to go that much more into it right now. Um, if you guys like this video, then I will go more into depth showing how you can send people uh, um, coins and you can, you know, add, add things to it. You can, you know, create all kinds of logos for it, blah, 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 blah. If you guys like this video, tell me if you do, and I will go more in depth in this and explain a bit more uh, some of this. So thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe. Let me get a little bit of 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 a